One of the questions we get asked uh, is how long can a compressor run, duty cycle. I want to explain a little bit about how the PSI affects what the compressor sees and feels. The higher the pressure, the more energy it takes to get to that pressure. So a good analogy I use is if you had a constant hill that you were pushing a, sh a shopping cart up the hill, and every 20 feet you get up the hill, somebody would throw in another 20 pound sack of sugar. And you go another 20 feet and somebody throws in another 20 pounds of sugar and so on. That's how the compressor sees the load of the pressure that it's building. As it's building pressure, it not only has to go to 30 PSI, but once it goes to 40 and 50 and 60 and beyond, it takes more energy to compress those molecules. Yet the molecules in the tank that you're compressing or in the tire are also pushing back. So the compressor has to work harder and harder to build the higher pressures. So a lot of times people claim, oh, you know, my, my compressor is a 100% duty cycle at 100 PSI. That's a very common way to state it. But as a compressor goes above 100 or 150, the energy use changes dramatically. So that duty cycle rating on, on some, some manufacturers' compressors may not be valid to call it continuous duty at 150 PSI. Um, when we do our compressors, you, they're up to 150 PSI. If they're rated continuous duty, you have no drama. Go to 150. As long as you stay below 150 PSI, they will not overheat. You can go above 150, but at that point, you don't want to run them for hours on end. You want to shut them down and let them cool off. But below 150, which is probably 99% of what everybody uses on their vehicles, whether they have air tanks or no air tanks, you don't have to worry about it. A lot of people ask, what is duty cycle exactly? And most compressor manufacturers have an industry standard uh, a duty cycle per the hour. How long can the compressor run before it needs to be shut down to cool off? based at 70 degrees temperature. Uh, if you have a 50% duty cycle, that means you can run the compressor for 30 minutes on, then you have to let it cool down for 30 minutes. If you uh, have a 25% duty cycle, 15 minutes on, 45 minutes off, and so forth. So 100% duty cycle means you can run it nonstop. There is no shutdown on the unit. Uh, different manufacturers have different ratings based on temperature. Uh, our units aren't rated via the temperature from minus 60 to plus 160 degree Fahrenheit on our continuous duty units, it's no problem. But the, the scientific formula is a percentage of time from an hour and then the rest of the hour gets to, to relax the compressor. One of the things that you have to be concerned about is the ambient temperature. Some compressors are 100% uh, duty cycle at 70 degrees. But what if we have the room under the hood of a vehicle, like a, a Toyota, and you want to mount the compressor under the hood? Fabulous location. It's up high, it's nice, it's dry, uh, but it gets hot under the hood. When the testing we've done, we found that the temperatures under the hood at highway speeds, 45 miles an hour and faster, sustained highway speeds are usually within 10 degrees of the ambient temperature. But in stop and go driving, off-road driving, or parked to refill your tires, Underhood temps can get up to about 135 to 160 degrees very easily, which may make your duty cycle shorter on your compressor if it's rated at 70 degrees. Uh, all our continuous duty compressors are rated from minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So anywhere in that range, you're good to go for continuous duty. Uh, so just check with the manufacturer. If you're not using an extreme air, just check with the manufacturer, make sure what the duty cycle is at what temperature and if you're going to be mounting the compressor where it's getting heat soaked either next to an exhaust system or, or under the hood where it's getting a lot of heat from the radiator then you want to make sure that you uh, account for that accordingly so you don't damage your compressor. On our higher amperage units we always recommend you let the engine idle so you get a higher voltage out of the alternator it lets the compressor run cooler and lets it run faster since it's getting a, a voltage spike out of the alternator not just the 12.6 volts or so out of a battery bank. So yes, opening the hood is definitely a help. It doesn't hurt anything. Uh, if it's 30 degrees outside, I wouldn't worry about it. But if it's in the summer desert climate, opening the hood definitely would help.